Hey guys, this is Igal from Network Optics and today I'd like to show you how we can use uh, our API to communicate to third party systems. <coughs> oh my goodness. What's going on? Hey Tony. What? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm uh, making a video. What are you making a video of? Basically, I wanna, I'm trying to explain guys how you can uh, communicate to third party systems to improve your security system uh, using our API. What are, you, what are you integrating? So, uh, the device you can see on the screen right here, it's called uh, O3500. Oh yeah. And the device is uh, pretty smart by itself. It can, you can connect uh, different kind of sensors to the device. Let's say here on the screen, you've got a humidity level sensor, or moisture. Here is the gas sensor and the device itself inside, it has a internal temperature sensor as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a pretty cool device. Um, it has uh, power switches as well, right? So you turn on and off lights, those green things right there. It's got, uh, got Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, power switches. Currently, it's connected to our system using Ethernet cable. It's PoE, right? Yeah, it's PoE. So, uh, so if you open up that interface, if you open like? the interface of a device, uh, it's a pretty convenient menu. And if you go to models, network optics, the model that you can uh, download. Module. Module. You can download from... Uh, all net. All net. Uh, right, so you install the module, then you have this little network optics, um, like, uh, capability. Cap Go right in, right? Capability. So you can see yeah. it right there. It asks for the IP and URL of the network optics server. Yeah. So you put in the server address where you want to send an event using the HTTP generic event, this create event API, right? So here you got a address of a server. The port is standard uh, goes uh, 7001, API create event. Basically, pretty easy to understand. So here the event was already predefined. It's called Hello Kitty. Uh huh. How did you how do you define it? Uh, you Plus. can add an device. Uh, yeah, you can uh, add an event. Uh, mm -hmm. Give it a name, give it a description, uh, provide additional information as uh, source. Uh, so we need source, caption, and description. Yeah. And yeah. we also can do state on or off for like, if you're telling it to trigger stuff, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, but typically you're just sending an event. Yeah. So what event did you set up and how is it triggered? All right, so if you go to functions, yeah. you've got actions. Mm -hmm. And the action <laughs> the that I create, the roof is on fire. That's yeah. Not good. All right. All right. So how'd you create that action? Uh, the, the same. Okay. You you click on plus. Uh, this is the menu. Name of the event. The roof is on fire. Why? Because we are testing uh, the internal temperature uh, sensor. Right. So when you go to compare, mm -hmm. so this is the internal uh, temperature the internal sensor. Sensor is yeah. greater than or equal to 15, 15 degrees. degrees. Yeah, right? as a constant. Yeah. Then now uh, here it asks you how many seconds of a delay you want it to the, to alarm to. So to if get it goes triggered. above 15 degrees and stays there for five seconds, yeah, then it will send this alert. Yeah. To NX. To NX. Okay. Right. So uh, usually you would prefer to. At least one or two seconds, right. but uh, well, it depends. For the, yeah, for demonstration purpose, we use five seconds. If it's input or output, you could also just do it instantly, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So as an action, mm -hmm. uh, the event is going to send the Hello Kitty event to our server. Uh -huh. Okay, and this is uh, pretty much it. So right now, guys, to demonstrate you, first of all, want to refer to our uh, client interface here on the right. As uh, Tony mentioned previously, and uh, That's where the notifications come yeah, from. yeah, yeah. One. So right here, I go to general once again. Uh huh. Uh, now. No, you gotta go I back wanna. To I'd like to disable the event mm -hmm. and save it. So uh, to restart it basically, and to show you guys how it works. Yeah. So I choose the event once again. Mm -hmm. I enable the d the event. And we should uh, save, it. yeah, and, and we can five, five seconds later. Five seconds later. Two, three, four. Ta -da! Danger. 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 Yeah. So that came in. If you click on it, does anything happen? No, no it's just a notification no. right yeah, now. Yeah, just a not notification. Yeah. So the associated rule for the event when it comes is it just show this notification and say danger. Yep. Is that right? Yep. So guys, it might require some background to make sure you create HTTP event correctly. 
So uh, if you guys feel uncomfortable doing it, you can go to. This. Sorry. So this is the uh, the uh, UI for it, right? Yeah. And the standard UI of the Allnet device shows you the input and output, and then the internal temperature. Yeah. It shows you Berlin. Yeah. Even though we're in LA, we're not really sure how to change that, right? So Allnet's based out of Germany. Yeah. I guess it makes sense that it's always. Berlin, but it'd be nice to be local. We'll have to contact all that and see how to change that, right? I tried to, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. Yeah, no worries. So the module yeah. here again, add the functions, is that right? Yep. Under actions? Actions, yeah. Add the function, create the function, yeah. and then assign it. So, so the function's assigned already when you when you create it, right? Yeah, definitely. So you, if you want to make sure. So the compare is what triggers the actual event. Yep. Right. So that's pretty cool. So it's viewable in our client, right? Right next to the other stuff. It looks good. It works. So you can bring in all that as your kind of like I.O. device. If you want to look at temperature, sensor, smoke detection, all that stuff, you can control it from this interface. But you can also hook it up to NX to allow it to send us events. And then we can use those events to trigger events in the action in, or actions in the system, right? So if I go to camera, if I go to rules, right? then I should see that generic event. Yeah, you're going to see it there, for sure. Right here, on generic event, show notification. Yeah. Where is it? Uh, I just saw it a second ago. On yeah. generic event, right yep. here. Right? Yep. Okay, so we can create a new rule here. Just real fast, let's do one. Let's add a rule. On generic event, right? Mm-hmm. And source contains, what did you have in the settings for the, the, the actual event? Mm. Under modules, under yeah, network optics. Network optics, yeah. You got Hello Kitty Hello that you Kitty. set up. Yeah. And you've got sources on that 3500, mm -hmm. right? And the word is danger. Yeah. Okay, so let's say if the caption contains danger, right? Let's go back over here. Type in danger. We're going to do show an alarm layout. And we're going to select the Mm, the PTZ camera, right? Let's do PTZ. This yeah. one. Okay. Apply. Okay. Okay. So now the, this function's there, right? Yep. So I gotta do the same thing we just did. Mm -hmm. Go here. Gonna disable. disable it. Save it. Right? Enable it. Enable. Enable it. Save, Save it. And in five seconds, if everything works, the PTZ should pop up an alarm pop up because the temperature is too high. Ba -bang. Ba -bang. Nice. We are we are intelligent people. Very. So that's so the all 3500 integrated into NX Witness using the network optics module created by Allnet. We didn't develop this. This is developed by the Allnet guys, good guys. Um, that allows you to send all sorts of events and actions from the Allnet I.O. into our system so that we can trigger actions out. Yep. Right? How do you say thank you in uh, German language? Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Yeah. Dankeschön, guys, for creating this. Uh... Good work.